and I'm really sorry about my hair, like I'm not even really sure what I'm talking about at the moment. Um, yeah, so I realised today that I would like to do some more chatty videos with you and have you get to know me and see more of me than I'm seeing and stuff. So I thought I would start off by doing a my first time video. In future I want to discuss like problems I have, like the deeper chatty ones, but I thought this would be a good starter to do um, chatty videos with because it's quite casual, it's quite fun, plus it's called my first time and this is my first YouTube video I've ever made, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, rather than doing music I thought I'd do one of these too. I've always wanted to do videos like this, but I've never really had the confidence to do videos like this because I know people from my school watch my videos and I get some of that fear of being judged. I think I've kind of lost that fear because if people want to judge me, then that's their problem and I don't really care anymore because they can't judge me. So, yeah. So, I wrote some down that I wanted to share with you because I kind of think it's kind of fun. Zoella's done a video of this, I think, and so did Louise, who's also on Kids Wake Up, and I love their videos, so she kind of decided to do this too. Yeah, I'll, I'll get started. Okay, first guitar. My first guitar was one that my dad bought me. I was in seven. I must have been 12, 12, and um, it was a fake Les Paul and um, like red, my friend is as at the moment because she's six and hates it, so that's why she's really happy about it. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, first guitar, and um, I came home from school, and I never really thought about playing guitar, because um, I played piano, just because I realised at the time I was absolutely crap, and piano just wasn't my instrument. Um, so I came home from school and I saw this guitar and I was like, what's this? And he was like, oh, I just got it for you. And um, I sat down and that night I literally spent all night playing it, learning chords. My mum bought me a Taylor Swift um, guitar chord book because there's piano in it as well. And um, I learned all the chords that I could and I just sat there for hours and hours and hours until like my fingers bled. And I did that all the time. I spent a Saturday after I got it just sitting and playing guitar and trying so hard to learn it and um, basically I still do that. I just sit at home and I just I play. I just, if I'm not out with my friends I'm playing guitar or I'm playing ukulele and I'm trying to get better and better and better. And I love it. It's amazing and I can't imagine my life without my first guitar because that got me started and if my dad had never bought me that I don't know who I would be today I would be someone completely different next one first teddy bear um I know I had a little like doll called baby and it's so original and I had I think she was like my first like proper toy it was my nan I got her for my first Christmas and um I don't know if she was my first but I know I loved her, and she wasn't a baby born or an Annabelle or anything, she was, I don't know, she was just a doll, I think because my mum took care of her, no, I know she was a doll, I just can't remember, and she was so mine, and she had a little um, blue striped, like, play suit, and she wore that to some of the like, shirts, and then, she, and then as I got older, I got her a little pink tutu and some little rose hairbands. And then after Baby, which is technically not a teddy bear, I got um, a little heffalump from the Disney store and I called it Heffy because that's called Lumpy in the movie from the Disney. And um, I called it Heffy and I carried it around with me everywhere. And those two were my two like main toys. But in total, I counted them once, I had 52 teddy bears. Next one, first friend. When I was very little, like I think it must have been nine weeks I think it was um we had a 
child of mine been living next door to us. And ever since I was about that age, my mom, m when my mum went to work, I would go to this child of mine's. And she had a, a grandson called Jackson. And we were best friends. And he always used to go every day. And we were so close for years. Like, he was my absolute best friend. And I told him everything. And it was, I remember saying, like, um, he was, like, my person would make like science like decisions and stuff and um i would always make him dress up i would force him i jackie had all these stuff in her trunk she had all these like um fancy dress costumes and a wardrobe and, like most of them were like all for me she had princess outfits she had um dresses and bridesmaid dresses and he literally just had this pirate costume and Every time I dressed up, which was like every day, I'd make him wear this pirate costume. I'm like, no, you have to dress up too. And he would. And um, he had this costume since he was about four and he wore it to his birthday. And I, I don't know why, it must have been so plain to him because he bought it since he was like four. Anyway, yeah, so he was my first friend. And, and then when I got to infant about four, my first friend was this girl called Anna, I think, and she was my first friend, and then I got my first best friend, my first girl best friend, and she was Eloise, and we were best friends for years. Then I moved to primary school, and my first friend there was Karis, and she is still to this day my absolute best friend, I love her so much. Um, yeah. First memory. My first memory was, so I don't know what's wrong with my mind, but I can remember being absolutely tiny, like one, younger than one, because I can remember sitting in my pram outside, and I know Jackie used to take me outside in a pram and let me sleep, and I can very vividly remember waking up and feeling terrified because there was no one around and I can remember just crying my eyes out I can remember that feeling of being scared and looking around and there being no one there and I remember looking left and seeing her doors and seeing her get up and just be like oh it's okay it's coming I'm okay I'm fine now and yeah I also remember being in a little baby bath a little red baby bath and having my dad wash my feet and my earliest memory. Um, yeah. Um, first moment of being a Swifty. I heard Taylor song 15 on a Pop Princess CD and at just loving the song and not realising at that time I was going to become obsessed with Taylor. And yeah, I just found that song. And then I went on to Spotify, because we had Spotify at that time, and I just searched up all her albums that she released, and I just memorised every song, and I just knew everything about her. On my little laptop, which is over there, I found a folder the other day, and it said Taylor Swift, and I'm like, oh, this is interesting. I went in, there was about 20 different folders, and in each of those 20 folders, there was 10 other folders, and in each of those folders, there was about 50 photos of Taylor in each. I was absolutely obsessed. There were her album covers, like fan-made album covers as well, pictures of Taylor, rare pictures of Taylor. I had like every picture of Taylor in the world. Don't ask me why, I don't know. I was weird. And I had a lot of those photos on my dressing room. First realisation that I was a feminist. Um, this conversation could go on for weeks because I am um, so I will do this in another video as well I will I will dwell on this I think the first proper realization um, realization was when I watched Emma Watson's um, speech um, things she said really made me realize things about my own life where she talked about being a child and not being able to do things because she was a girl and um, being a teenager, and the things you realise 
um, being picked on for being a girl and never being able to, and having on the internet a moment, but the moment's like so many things about your body and how it's society like focuses on girls and in a bad way and you have to look a certain way, you have to act a certain way because you can't just eat. And I think after, I think when I watched that video, and also being bullied, because I think that was one of many times. So, yeah. Moment of being a Zubian. I'm, I'm a massive fan of Doctor Who. I can remember sitting in my first house with my dad watching the first episode of the new Doctor Who on the Cliff of Recklesden and the mummy, no, not mummy Psycho, what are they called? The shop window dummy dummies close to mummy <laughs> um yeah and uh, yeah i watched up to like all my life and it just i just realized i did it and then one day on the internet i found myself um searching up doctor who like tumblr posts and just being able to relate to everything and that was the moment when i realized Oh, and I also, like, used to watch Doctor Who every day. But I didn't realise I was a Zubian because I'd done it all my life. And then I realised I'm part of a fandom. And that was a really cool moment for me. Like, I'd always known I was a Swifty. But, like, I'd never done anything online with that. And I realised I was properly in a fandom. And it made me really happy that I made it, which was nice. First pet. My first pet. first pet was a hamster called Georgie. I had her in about, I think, I was about my first pet. She's I must have been very small. She must have been about year two. She must have been about six, seven. And I had this hamster. And before I was born, my mum had had two hamsters, also called Georgie. So since she was Georgie the third, and um, yeah, and she was just First YouTube video. I started this YouTube as a makeup YouTube and I did it with one of my best friends, Kira. And my first video on here was um, us going, Hey, this is Tesme, and subscribe to us for some more awesome videos or something. I will put a thing somewhere. I don't know if it's still up actually. I don't even know if that video is still up. I will have to check. First blog post. I have had so many blogs and I could never really keep them up. My latest blog, The Jelly Bean Beauty, I kept up because, um, I don't know, I really liked it. And I did that for about a couple of years and, that, and I started that when I started this YouTube. Um, but I stopped writing in that blog about March this year because I realised that it's not really my forte anymore and I do enjoy writing about it and I'm thinking about starting a new blog which spans across everything I do where I can write about makeup maybe or hair which is kind of boring but I can write about my beliefs I can write about stuff that interests me and um, not have to have it contained in a category and it probably won't get any followers but you know what I don't really care because if, if I'm happy doing it, then why not? Um, I kind of got off topic. First blog post. Yeah, the first post I ever did was on a blog, my first blog, which was, um, was um, oh, the, the Cosmetic Journal, I think I called it. That was the name of my blog. And I created this blog when I was in about year six. So I was really really small when I started it and I'd seen a makeup blog in a magazine it was um make me up Kaya Kia Kaya make me up Kaya dot blogspot dot co dot uk and I loved the idea of it the idea of having a blog and I don't know I just found it really interesting so I started one up at my nan's house and if I go to my nan's now I have a little like book of all my blog posts that I made but the first one was, what was the first one? Oh, it 
was probably like an introduction to my blog. But I think my first one apart from that, now I don't know how I remember this because it was probably like four years ago, five years ago now. I think it was me saying what I binge Norwich and bought makeup wise or what's in my makeup bag or something like that. I will I will have to look it up. I should have done that before I did this video. First bedroom. I don't know why I wanted to share this with you, but it's kind of fun. In my first house in Attleboro, I had a little yellow bedroom, I think, and it had a little wallpaper bit around the middle and it had ducks on. And yeah, that was kind of boring. Why did I like that? I don't know. First crash. Now, this was fun because I could give you my entire crash history because I remember it. I remember every time I've seen I've ever found it. Why do I keep doing this? I don't know. Sorry. All the people I've ever fancied in my life, and I could give you in order when the moment. But I think the first person I ever fancied was in Attleborough School. He was obviously a lot before five. Because he used to play like catch. You know, there's like um, kiss chase. And you um you have to get to the wall, you have to run from them, you have to try and kiss them. I don't think it was that because I think it was a thing or something there. I think it was just like discovered it, I don't know. But um I just remember we had a war and you went to the wall sorry, uh, uh, you went to the wall and then you ran and the boys would chase you and I remember fancying this boy called Fabian. After another girl, and we became really jealous. But I didn't realize I fancied him. But I realized the other week I was like, Oh, I fancied that guy. Wow. Yeah. First CD, I think my first CD was Pop Junior, which is like Pop Party, but for kids. Little kids. And um, I had it had a little DVD with music videos. And when I was little, I, I couldn't just like listen to a book or watch a movie. I watched them obsessively and I had favourites and I had this little Pop Junior DVD and I used to stick it into the computer. No. No, there was no. I used to stick it into like the telly then. Get confused, I don't know why I said that. I used to stick it into the telly and I used to watch all these, all these music videos. There must have been about 20 more. 20 or more videos, and I used to just sit and watch those instead of a movie, and I, why did I do that, I don't know, and there were things like, um, S Club 7, like, Rich Monsters, like, you, it was around that time, in early 2000s, and there was, um, what was the other song, there was like, S Club Junior, and they did a song that was like, one step closer to heaven, baby, means one step closer to you. And that was that was one of my favourites, which kind of links into the next one, which is first favourite song. I reckon one step closer was one of my favourites. I can't really remember my first ever favourite because that's kind of I don't know. But my mum used to listen to loads of the albums, and one of my first songs would be um, um, Mr. Blue Sky by ELO, um, White Flag by Dido, which I covered recently. Um, I've got, I can't remember the others, but obviously One Step Moving, The Reach. There was the one, I don't know, I had lots, I had lots of favourite songs. Scout and Skulls was probably my first favourite band. I love Scout and Skulls. I don't think I've ever actually covered a Scout and Skulls song. I need to do that. Comment below if you want me to cover Scout and Skulls. Because I will. Because I love them. I think that is all my questions. I really hope you liked this video. I hope to do more chatty videos. This has taken me 20 minutes. My god. Sorry. For rabbiting. But yeah. If you want me to do more videos like this. Please comment below. This will probably never get any views at all. But if it does. Just. Yeah. I hope to do more videos about feminism, about bullying, about, um, I don't know. If you do want me to do any chatty videos, body image, I will do videos on just anything because I would love to do more of these things. 
most important would probably actually be the confidence to do things, which can be really, really hard, but I can talk. 